And the Bucks with possession here, following the bucket by the Celtics. And here's Richardson outside, and the shot is good. Richardson's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. On defense, the Bucks trailing by two. Johnson dishes to Parrish. Can't get it to go. Now the Bucks take it the other way. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Wasted no time on that one. You know, I don't think that was the shot they had in mind, but they'll take it. Johnson with it. McHale, right side. Six on the shot clock. Now Robertson. One forty-three left to play in the first. Up top, Bird. Richardson cover. And it's Bird missing. Bird's gone two of five from the floor. Rebounded by the Celtics. Johnson outside. McHale kicks to Bird. Parrish, the pass to Ogden. His three pointers off the mark. Dishes it to Robertson. He kicks it to Abdul Jabbar. Some creativity right there by Oscar Robertson on the assist. Abdul Jabbar's got his second basket of the game. Boston trailer. Johnson attacking on the wing bird. Passes to Pierce. Shot to stop the run, and the shot is long. His touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't been able to get it going. Robertson against Parrish. Puts it up from 12. The shot is off. Now Boston takes it the other way. Bird dishes to Johnson. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block. Force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Present the layup. Give him a little bump. And then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Boston shooting their first free throws of the night. Two shots. The first free throw is good. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Davis has checked in for Evans. Greg Smith comes in for damage. McLaughlin's checked in for Richardson. And Allen subbed in for Robertson. Both shots good from the strike. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Here is McLaughlin. Allen outside. Here is McLaughlin. Here's Davis. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And thanks for joining us once more as we get set to continue our coverage of the Eastern Conference Semis. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, guys, what jumps out to you, stats wise? It's been a point of emphasis, no doubt, to make sure they attack the rim offensively. I love the fact they're not settling for outside shots. Keep attacking that rack. Omer Ashik is out there with Perry Jones. Then it's Alonzo G. Then there's Ainge. And it's Anthony in at the point. That's the Boston Five. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on the clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one. They really aggressive play there, taking it to the rack against the big fella. You know, Greg, aggressiveness is really the only option when you're on the wrong side of the size equation. McLaughlin against Ainge. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. Allen's got the lead up to three now for the Bucks. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Oh, tough D on the inside. 
It sure was, Greg. No easy access to the basket when that fellow's in the middle. Here's the break. Here's Ainge. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. That is such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. And it's one thing to get the steal, but to so alertly turn it into a transition opportunity, even better. And did not seem happy about how things are going on right now and maybe wants to make some changes. I agree. I mean, just was not comfortable with the way things were set up at that particular time. And in that case, I think it's the right thing to do. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And some changes here for the Celtics. Paris just checked in for Asha. McHale comes in for Jones. And it's Bird in for G. Milwaukee also making some changes. Evans, he's checked in for Davis. Dandridge comes in for Greg Smith. And it's Robertson in for Allen. Evans' shot is good. And you could tell they had that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. Celtics trail by three. Anthony kicks to Bird. Three-pointer. And he gets it to go. Bird's got seven points in the game. Bird's gone one and two from three-point land. And there's the pass to McLaughlin. Dandridge, the second chance points on the tip in. Dandridge has got his second basket. Always better to be lucky than good when it comes to offensive rebound. And unless you're as good as he is, then those tip ins are all about skill. Now here's Bird. He has seven, and it comes off the front of the rim. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. Pushing it up. A pull-up. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Bird's got the game tied up here for Boston. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to... Robertson passes to Evans. Dan And the three off target. So it's Boston now. Anthony kicks to Bird. Rebounded by Abdul Jabbar. And it's the Bucks ball. Pass to McLaughlin. Evans ends up defended by Parrish. And whether he's a great off-balance shooter or not, the, the lean is probably not the best option on that shot. Well, Larry Bird in this one, nine points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times, he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. First trip to the free-throw line for him in this one. And they now lead as the free-throw drops for him. Richardson, he's checked in for McLaughlin. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Here's Dandridge. The basket is good. That's his sixth attempt and his third make. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in the second. Johnson dishes the bird. From outside the arc, score the basket is fifth of the game. He's missed six shots against those five makes. And getting going here in the second quarter, his second three-pointer of the game. Robertson drives in. No good with the elbow jumper. When he's wide open like that, he'll rarely miss those. And Bird with the basket on the assist from Dennis Johnson. And it's a five-point Celtic lead. I don't think they can ask much more of him than what he's done this quarter. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And he has slipped into a funk, Clark. You can see the confidence is shaking. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he's very oh. much deflated. The basket looks a lot smaller to him at this point, and the only way you can get out of it is to work yourself out of it. Richardson. Parrish gets the rebound. Celtics leading by five. Here's Ogman, and he banks in the lane. Seven points in the game. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. They are absolutely stroking it from outside. I mean, textbook perfect. Good balance, nice high release, splash. Now here's Johnson. 
The feed to Burr. Robertson against Johnson. There's a screen by McHale. Just five on the clock. Tries again. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And he's got his first free throw of the game. At the line, your Celtics. That free throw, no good. At the line for two. And the second free throw, good. 11 seconds left to play in the first half. The dish to Richardson. To the wing on the left. And the foul called on G. Smith in a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Austin. And we welcome you back here to the broadcast of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Without question, Larry Bird displaying his skills today. And, you know, when the game is as important as this one, you, you expect to get a big performance from him. In that first half, he delivered. And, Greg, here in the second, the stakes are raised even higher. So he's going to have to continue to give them someone to lean on. And Milwaukee, you're looking at who they've got. They've got Abdul-Jabbar. Dandridge is out there with Evans. Then there's Robertson. And it's Richardson in at the two spot. Now here's Robertson. <laughs> Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The Bucks shooting their first free throws of this one. And he knocks down the first one. And both free throws good for Evans. Here's Johnson. Pass to Ogman. Launches it. Milwaukee with the rebound. It's stolen. On the wing, Johnson. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. On the wing, Burke. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Bucks trail by five. And here is Robertson. The 10 footer. Johnson with the block. Fast break. Here we go. And here we go. That's good. Bird's got 18 points in the game. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Timeout called the Bucks. Without question, Larry Bird displaying his skills today. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they've got to figure out how to contain it. Danny Ainge has checked in for the Celtics. McLaughlin's checked in for the Bucks. Now here's Richardson. He has six. McLaughlin against Bird. And the rejection by Parrish. Here's Bird. Buries the jumper to finish the break. And now it's a nine-point Celtic lead. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Here's Robertson. He dishes it to Evans. Milwaukee, no good that time either. What a sluggish, muddy start to the second half. Still scoreless. Poke loose. Robertson with the steal. One on one here. Wide open. Good. And they get one. Now one of five here in the third. Celtics leading by seven. Now here is Ainge. He feeds it to Burr. And then up for him. And it Just as good in their last game. 
Robertson kicks to Abdul Jabbar, and that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. You know what? A low percentage pass on that one, but sometimes it's worth the risk. Well, that time the risk did not pay off because it was well defended. The Celtics making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. Now here's Robertson. Plenty of space. Here's Abdul Jabbar. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, they have got to put a body on him because otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive line. And it's Parrish finishing it off. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not take a few chances? A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-handed. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last 10 points have all come off assist. McLaughlin, the sharpshooter, hits the quick release J. Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid-range shot really the only option in that situation. Sometimes when you're facing a bigger guy, you can't get it all the way to the rim. Kicks it to Abdul Jabbar. And good on the basket. Book it. Abdul Jabbar's got four points this quarter. Guys, he's got the length to get to the rim, and when he gets there, you never see a clumsy or awkward finish out of him. Everything is smooth and fluid. The shooting percentage continues to elevate here in the second half. Well, as a group, they've been harmonic since the break. In sync. Good team basketball resulting in high-quality shots. On the wing, Jason Richardson. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. The big O, Ashton Robertson, drives the lane and lays it in. You can see that they're not as aggressive from the three-point arc. They had far more attempts in the first half. And a new group in for the Celtics. Omer Ash, he's checked in for Parrish. Harry Jones comes in for McHale. She's checked in for Larry Burke. And Dennis Johnson's subbed in for Danny Ainge. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Davis is checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Smith comes in for Reggie Evans. Dandridge, he's checked in for Richardson. And Allen subbed in for McLaughlin. And he gets it to go. And the Celtics lead by nine. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. That's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Dandridge. And that's not going to go. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Celtics lead by nine. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And we welcome you back to our presentation of Game One. Boston leading by nine. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the floor for Boston. Terry Jones out there with Alonzo G. Then it's Omer Asha. Then there's Johnson. Ogman's shot is off. Here's Dandridge. And Jones pulls it down. Here's Ogman. The shot is off. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Allen with it. Screen by Smith. Ball's knocked loose. Johnson attacking. Plays it up and banks it in. Johnson's got the lead up to 11 now for the Celtics. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Kevin, I got a chance to hear what head coach of the Bucks said to his team. He let his players know that they've got to do a better job on defense. He said, they're scoring any way they want. We've got to show some pride here. Let's make a stand defensively, get a stops, and get on a run of our own. Do they have it in them, Kevin? 
Some great play by the big O, Oscar Robertson, tonight. He has nine points and a huge helping of assists as well. No doubt about it. He's the conductor, the band leader, Clark. And this offense has really performed at a high level. Celtics leading by eight. Johnson, the pass to Osh. The shot. And Bird with the basket on the assist by Osh. Bird's got ten points in just the second half. And he could be the guy to put this game out of reach. Robertson with it. And it's Johnson picking him up. From 13, they get it back. And it's Evans missing. Balanced scoring, Clark, for them. They're moving it well. Yeah, you love to see teams share the sugar. Everybody getting a touch. Everybody enjoying an opportunity to score. That makes it a lot of fun for everybody on the court. You know, it sounds better when you say it than watching it. Okay? <laughs> I like better when you say it. Sharing the sugar. <laughs> you, need to, you might want to cut down on that sugar intake, though, Clark. But anyway, everybody's been involved in this offense here early on, and it has a way of helping you defensively. <laughs> Bucks trail by 12. For three, Richardson. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. Robertson's got assist number eight here in this one already. Richardson's gone three for three from deep so far. Perfect. Robertson against Johnson. Pass to Ogden from outside the arc. It's good. That basket is now five for nine. He had one in the first as well. He can be dangerous. Keep an eye on him. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. Let's it go with a three. Dandridge can't make it work. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Here's Bird. Rebounded by Abdul-Jabbar. Abdul-Jabbar's got his fifth rebound in this one. Feeds it to Bird. They double team Bird. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Augman. Second shot opportunity. And Bird finishes inside. Larry Bird, an all time great shooter. Just a shade under 50% from the field in his career. Roberts in his double. Here's Dandridge. And McHale pulls it down. McHale's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. Uh, we'll see if that's the answer. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Celtics. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight, Clark, they had both. They sure did. I mean, the ball was moving, and guys were knocking down shots. Parrish has checked in for O'Mara. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. Evans outside. Dishes to Richardson. He kicks it to Abdul-Jabbar. Just five on the clock. Here's Dandridge. And the Bucks miss again. He's been anything but his usual self. All the way up. Two free throws now for him. You can see the leadership qualities on display right there, guys. You know, he's their coach on the floor. There's no doubt about that. A great communicator, a great teammate, and as you mentioned, Kevin, a tremendous leader. Big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Davis has checked in for Evans. Greg Smith comes in for Dandridge. McLaughlin's checked in for Jason Richardson. And Allen subbed in for Robertson. Now here's Allen to the right side. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. Here's McLaughlin. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Anthony drives in. Out to Bird. Davis with some nice D. Milwaukee with the ball. It's an 18-point game. Smith gets to Allen. To the paint. Here's Abdul-Jabbar. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's on Larry Bird. Shooting for Boston. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Taking two shots. 
Free throw drops for Abdul Jabbar. And so he hits both. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Anthony kicks to Bird. From the line. Great D that time from Davis. Now Allen. Davis with a screen on Anthony. A drive by Allen. And again, the Bucks miss. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. A big playoff win for them, but what isn't a great big in the postseason? Huh? Great point. I, I really just love the composure with which they played tonight. It, it's easy to get too keyed up for postseason basketball, but they kept their heads and just went about the business of winning. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. Now, let's check out the Jordan player of the game, Larry Bird.